so I bought this cool dash cam on Amazon and um, it works great uh, pictures great and uh, pretty simple to install uh, it also has this feature where whenever you throw into reverse you connect it to your tail light and that will activate the reverse camera uh, the only problem is it didn't work for me the way that a bulb works is simple you apply current to the bulb and it lights up so the camera has a red wire that connects to the tail light whenever you put the car in reverse the tail light comes on and this voltage is sensed by the camera and the backup mode is engaged. And this is called a supply switched circuit and I assume most cars work like that but unfortunately my car is a different type which I discovered is called ground switched which causes a problem as you will see. And while it's in neutral, we're good in the lines. Okay, so now I've connected the uh, alligator clip. Reading 14 volts. Okay. So, hot wire is always hot. Take it out of gear, put it in neutral. Alright, so now I've connected it to the ground wire. You can read that. And the uh, backup camera is on while in neutral. Okay, go ahead and put it in reverse. We just put it in reverse and backup camera turned off. Voltage went down, and we're in reverse. Connected to the black. Bar. So I had contacted tech support about the problem, and um, initially it sounded like they might be able to help me out. Um, it seemed like a pretty simple problem. And, uh, but there seemed to be some kind of a language problem and um, I'm not really sure that they understood exactly what I was saying. I uh, tried to explain it as clearly as I could and uh, I was encouraged when they said that an engineer will make a, cl a plan for our car my car model. And I don't know. It had been a while. They told me to wait for a few days. And I asked them. I waited several days. And the, their answer was just to not connect it. And, uh, and that wasn't good enough for me. And uh, they told me to make a recording. And that's the recording that you saw earlier. Well, I sent it to them. And again, explained it as best I could. I even sent them a YouTube link. And again, they're telling me the red line needs to be connected to the positive electrode, even though I'd explained that that um, was the whole problem. Uh, anyway, so just never got any response from them. It was obvious that they couldn't help me. Um, I knew it had to be something simple. I posted a question on uh, Electrical Engineering Stack Exchange, and uh, in the back page of the manual, it explains a circuit, but this is a circuit to uh, if there's interference or something, so it kind of uh, cleans it up. That's not the problem that I'm having. I got a couple of responses, uh, something about using a transistor and two resistors, but I needed a little more detail um, and I replied to this one guy and um, never he never replied back but these guys aren't getting paid or anything so I went to Fiverr and I posted the question 
offered 30 bucks to anybody that can just explain to me how to fix this. I got several replies, and um, uh, I'm, this guy seemed to be to really know how it wo uh, what to do. Um, and anyway, the solution is just a simple relay. Um, I knew it was something simple, but you know, I'm not an electrical engineer, and I didn't want to screw it up trying different things. He even sent me. Uh, he wrote it out and took a picture of it how the thing worked and uh, sent me some diagrams and even sent me a link to buy the relay on Amazon so this is the relay that you will need if you want to make your malfunctioning backup camera with your weird tail lights that have a uh, positive voltage all the time until the tail light turns on and then only the uh, one of the wires has a low voltage uh, anyway, so the relay is what you need. Okay, in the directions he gave me, he shows a diagram of the relay and generally how it works. In the next picture, he shows exactly how to wire it up. Uh, the previous picture is important to know what's coil A and B and what it corresponds to and we're going to look at that here in a second. This relay. Somehow I ended up with two relays. I'm not sure why, but um, anyway. Um, I'm not sure what to do with these instructions. I needed some electrical wire, so I found that at AutoZone. And I also found a nice wiring harness. I was going to use these terminal connectors to connect to the relay, but I guess if this fits, that'll make it a lot easier and it looks a little more weatherproof. The relay harness comes with an additional red wire so that you can use it for a five pin relay, which this one is. The red wire snaps right in. If it doesn't snap in when you shove it down into the center hole, you probably put it in upside down. And the relay goes into the harness. It's really hard to get it in there, but once it starts going in, you know you've got it in right. Okay, according to the instructions, you have 85, which is the coil A, connected to the positive wire, the red wire of the tail light. Also connected to that would be 87, the normally open, which is the yellow wire. So we can, we're just gonna wire the yellow and the white wire together. And then that wire is going to go to the red tail light wire. The coil B part over on the other side is 86. That's going to be the black wire with our wiring, the black wire of the wiring, wiring harness, and that goes to the black tail light wire. The, let's see, 30 is the common wire, and that's going to go to the red camera wire. So that's going to get the signal that is inverted from whatever is happening in the ground wire on the tail light. And finally, let's see, 87A here, that will be the red wire coming from your harness, and that is just needs to go to the ground. So I connected that one to a bolt. Okay, so this is the, uh, I went ahead and tore off this entire hatch area trunk panel and I found a vent here where I can run these wires through uh, outside and then up through here so that's going to be a lot better than trying to run it under the installation here and that's where I'm going to put my uh, my relay plenty of room 
to just stick it down in there somewhere. Okay, so I'm testing this out. I have everything wired up. Um, just for the test. see if this works and you can hear the relay click go ahead and put it in park oh it didn't click back. I'll put it in reverse again put it in reverse? yeah okay so now with the relay it's showing the front mm -hmm. and uh, it's not in reverse mode All right, go ahead and put it in verse. And there you go. It went into reverse mode. Oh, you can't really tell. Let me go back up there. It's showing the lines, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. Why can't I see it? Is it allowed? the other day anyway so I did a little bit better job of connecting the tail light wires and then I looped the relay down over this rubber thing back there so maybe it won't get too much moisture and then I was able to route those wires down through the little vent I still had to use uh, kind of fish it fishing through with another another wire Anyway, they got through.